What up, everyone? Crypto Marxists, aka Bone Army, coming at you. If you like the Shiba Inu ecosystem, you're in the right place. This right here is the Shib Magazine. If you're not familiar with the Shib Magazine, I highly suggest you become familiar with it. First of all, every NFT cover is an uh, opportunity for you guys to get a free NFT. What do I mean by that? Well, the first 3,000 mints of the cover are nfts and i've seen them go for as high as 400 dollars on uh mantra which is kind of crazy so just putting that out there for you guys all right this right here is going to cover the fhe the zama partnership and the shib's name so this article is from february 28th i should have already brought this to you guys but actually in a way it's better that i didn't because it's covering some treat it's covering layer three it's covering identity and it's covering fully uh, homomorphic encryption, okay, which actually makes way more sense now than when you guys first read it, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. And actually, before I get a, a little bit further, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that sub, hit that like, bell it up because some of my stuff is time sensitive and urgent, all that good stuff. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is the SHIB community future. So if you didn't get part one, because this is part two, go ahead and check it out. Like I said, I know this isn't the sexiest thing. I'm not expecting a lot of views from this, but it's important for me to document this for the Bone Army, those people that want the Easter eggs. And in fact, I'm going to tell you this much. This is going to talk about treat. The next video I do, I'm going to give you guys not financial advice, okay? Once again, not financial advice. I'm going to give you guys what I believe is the treat contract, okay? So I myself already got some, all right? So just putting that out there. I actually had gotten, gotten some way back. I got a little bit. And then I ended up getting a little bit more, um, like maybe like two, three weeks ago, all right? So when I saw that, it started to move a little bit and people started talking about treat, the layer three, all that good stuff. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get into this. If you didn't get part one, I'm going to try to link it towards the beginning, hopefully around right now. What is this? Around two minutes for you guys. So if you didn't, go ahead and get that. Swing over there so you can get the full um, context of what I'm about to read right now. All right, cool. So, of course, if you guys don't know about Zama, big time tech company, okay? Award winning company when it comes to uh, even the RSI convention, all right? The conference, all right? So what am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about a little bit of what I spoke about last time, just to give you a little context. So this is important, especially when it comes to treat, which is the last unstable coin that's in Shiba Inu's ecosystem. So it says Shib Solution powered by Zama. Initially, Shib Solution powered by Zama will run on treat. One of the Shib, Shiba's ecosystem's tokens developed to serve multiple purposes, including providing liquidity, to the she stablecoin, she is so important, guys. It is the future stablecoin of the world. All right, I'll put it like that. Eventually, replacing the bone token as a reward token for Shiba Swap and providing rewards for Shib, the metaverse, and the blockchain version of the Shiba Inu themed collectible card game Shiba Eternity. All right, cool. So I read that last time. I read this right here about no FUD. Shibs now future shy speak of course big old big up to Shaitoshi Kusama all right super leader all right so this one is right here we left off right here so detective shib so fully homomorphic encryption what is it and what can it do okay why is this important another thing that's important and actually you know what let me go ahead and quickly try to see if I could find something this was not planned, actually, so if it's a little sloppy, my bad, but hold up. Let me just see one thing, one thing real quick. All right, cool. Let me see. It looks like it's going to be able to. All right, cool. So this one right here is actually a Layer 3 token, okay? This is an, an actual Layer 3 token. Um, so for comparison, we're talking about almost a billion dollars, seven hundred and three quarters of a billion dollars fully diluted market cap. And this is on base, okay? This is not, um, this is not a Shiba Inu play. But I just want to give you guys a comparison of what they could potentially do, okay? 
keep in mind, this is an extremely uh, small market cap. All right. I'm talking about treat the treat that I believe, of course, not financial advice. All right, let's get let's get back into it. So I just want wanted to give you guys that as context. All right. So so learn all you need to know about this advanced encryption technique, how it works and what to look forward to as it sustains an upsurge in adoption. Keep in mind, Shiba Inu is not about the pump and dumps. All right. So if you guys hear, you know, some of these people like Oscar Ramos, like, you know, uh, Clay Bro, they're, they tend to FUD a lot, all right, because they don't care about the Shiba Inu ecosystem. All they care about is sheep. Is shit pumping? Why isn't it pumping? Oh, we don't care about Shiboshi. We don't care about bone. You know what? They don't understand the enormity of what the Shiba Inu ecosystem is actually building, the infrastructure, the superstructure to create an actual network state, the Shiba state, the first digital country. So way over what they want to invest in time and even do any of this. For those of you that are here investing the time, big up to you. I already know the Bone Army rocks with it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about why this isn't a pump and dump and why we need to focus on adoption. Yes, sir, adoption. Fully homomorphic encryption. Fully homomorphic encryption process fully homomorphic encryption. And this is by Violet Vayaya or Va Valaya, Valaya, all right? I don't know exactly which one of those three is a, a correct pronunciation. Sorry, I massacred your last name, but here we go. Imagine a world where crypto transactions and interactions occur entirely on the blockchain, but shrouded in a cloak of impenetrable, impenetrable encryption where sensitive data like financial information or NFT identities stay hidden, even while complex calculations and evaluations take place. This cryptographic utopia might sound like science fiction, but it's inching closer thanks to a fascinating technology called fully homomorphic encryption, FHE. While, don't do that. while encryption protects data, at rest and in transit, most breaches involve compromised IT services where data is deciphered for processing. This creates a security gap. Despite the encryption measures, organizations face a difficult choice, analyze large data sets and risk leaks or limit insights by not pulling data. Enter homomorphic encryption insights without decryption. So it says, Fully homomorphic encryption, FHE, offers a solution. This technology allows computations on encrypted data without decryption, enabling analysis without exposing the underlying information. This third way, quote unquote, holds immense potential for organizations to gain valuable insights from data while maintaining robust security. Basically, this is what they're saying. When a, there is a update, okay, they need to decrypt the information and in the process of decrypting or in the process of re-encrypting there's these gaps security gaps so with fully homomorphic encryption there is a pipeline of encryption that continues whether they want to upgrade or not because it's from the point a to point z all right so that's basically how it is so that security vulnerability is reduced, diminished to almost nothing. All right, cool. So it says how FHE works encryption. And also, let me just say, I like all these, all of these graphics are banger. Look at this, bro. No other project like Shiba Inu with their own magazine. Like, all right, here, I don't want to get off track. How FHE works encryption. You start with your data, plain text, and a special FHE scheme. Computation instead of a Instead of decrypting the data, you perform calculations directly on the ciphered text. Decryption. After performing all the computations on the ciphered text, you use the FHE schemes decryption key to unlock the final result. In simple terms, here's how it works. Imagine you have a locked box containing sensitive data. In traditional encryption, to process the data, example, perform calculations, you'd need to unlock the box perform the operation, and then relock it. This means revealing the data, exposing security risks. FHE acts like a magic box. You can perform operations directly on the encrypted data inside the box without ever unlocking it. 
This allows computations on sensitive information while keeping it completely hidden. Okay, that's the key point right there. All right, so it says, how does this magic work? It involves complex math involving homomorphic encryption schemes. These schemes use intricate mathematical structures to wrap, quote unquote, the data in multiple layers of encryption, allowing calculations to be performed on these layers without ever touching the actual data itself. That's banger. There are different types of homomorphic encryption. So it talks about all three. The first, second are not what they're talking about in SHIB. They're just giving an example. The third example is exactly what the layer three in Shiba Inu's blockchain proprietary layer two Shibarium is going to be. And this is what it is. There are different types of homomorphic encryption. Partial homomorphic supports one operation, addition or multiplication infinitely on encrypted data. Think adding addresses without revealing them. The second one is somewhat homomorphic, handles both addition and multiplication, but only a limited number of times. Imagine analyzing encrypted medical data without compromising privacy. The third one is fully homomorphic, the powerhouse. Supports unlimited additions and multiplications on encrypted data. Useful for complex computations on sensitive information in the cloud. So FHE in the crypto space, a game changer? The ability to manipulate encrypted data holds immense potential for the crypto world. Here are some exciting possibilities. And I think what they're going to talk about, I might have covered this before because it sounds a little familiar, is actually even launching private contracts. Okay, let's see, launching a token privately without without it getting botted situations. All right, so it says, the ability to manipulate encrypted data holds immense potential for the crypto world. Here are some exciting possibilities. I just read that again. One, it says confidential smart contracts. Smart contracts are the self-executing agreements at the heart of DeFi and the other blockchain applications, but they often expose sensitive data when executed. FHE can shield this information, enabling private transactions and calculations within the smart contract itself. Okay, so basically it says, but often they expose sensitive data. So FHE can shield this information, enabling private transactions and calculations within the smart contract itself. So that's like having a wallet, all wallets being protected by privacy, regardless of what the transactions or calculations are, all within the contract, kind of banger. So it says encrypted key signaling cross chain bridges that connect different blockchains are vulnerable to attacks. FHE offers a potential solution by enabling the use of encrypted keys for signing transactions on bridges, adding an extra layer of security and reducing the risk of compromising. So basically, this is like both blockchains having keys, private keys for each bridge. So securing, okay, does this bridge, does this key match this key? All right, cool, send it over. It's kind of dope. Securing, analyzing sensitive data in the world of DeFi, analyzing on-chain data is crucial for informed decision-making. However, this often involves sharing or exposing individual data points. FHE allows this secure analysis of pooled data, offering valuable insights while safeguarding individual privacy. NFT auctions. Bid on a rare digital art without anyone knowing your maximum offer. FHE lets you encrypt your bid and perform calculations on it, ensuring only the winning bid is revealed. Real world assets, real world assets, RWAs. Invest in fractional ownership of real estate or artwork without exposing sensitive financial data. FHE allows secure calculations on encrypted ownership percentages, keeping your investments private. Amazing. FHE, magic goes beyond individual transactions. It can unlock a myriad of new use cases on the blockchain thanks to programmable privacy. That's why SHIB has partnered with Zama, an open source crypt cryptography company specializing in cutting edge FHE solutions for blockchain and artificial intelligence. These contracts, the backbone of DeFi, can now execute complex calculations on encrypted data, ensuring both confidentiality and 
transparency. Imagine a smart contract that automatically distributes dividends to shareholders, but without revealing their holdings. With FHE, it's possible. It says FHE is still in its early stages. And like any powerful tool, it comes with its own challenges. Its efficiency is still a work in progress. However, the potential rewards are immense and the research community is actively tackling these hurdles. Sheesh. And of course, you guys see the ad by Shiba Swap. Big up. Tell your Shiba Inu to fetch new token. So future and tech. This is the other one I wanted to read to you guys. And then I'll go ahead and cover the, the rest of them quickly because um, I actually want to continue doing some of these. So it says dot ship names by D3. Your Web3 identity takes flight in early access. The future of digital identities is here and it's personalized, interoperable, and powered by the incredible partnership with D3. Join us on March 5th and claim your unique SHIB name. So March 5th already happened. Um, I already, I told you guys about it. Um, and there was a code. I, you can still use the code, I believe. So let's go ahead and see what, what this is. And basically, this would be like having your own website linked to your identity, linked to your name. Okay, so... It's the future, basically. Hashtag future, all right? So you would be able to receive tokens for that. That could be your wallet address. That could be your email address. I mean, that's your handle. I mean, your website. I mean, everything. So it says, mark your calendars. Hashtag SHIB Army. The long-awaited early access to SHIB name tokens is around the corner, launching on March 5th. Remember that epic partnership announcement on D with D3 back in December? That's right. These Name tokens are poised to become your future proof interoperable digital identities, complete with a shot at the coveted dot shib TLD during the upcoming ICANN application window. Current shib name service holders will be amongst the first to receive their upgraded shib names, granting them exclusive access before the gates open to everyone. But that's not all. Exciting details about the launch, including special offers for the SHIB community, will be revealed in next week's edition. So what are dot .SHIB name tokens? Think of your dot .SHIB name token representing, represented as, say, your name dot .SHIB as your single address for everything on Web3. It's a multi-chain, cross-platform identity that empowers you to ditch complex wallet addresses replace those long strings of characters with a human readable easy to remember name unify your web3 experience use a dot ship name across defi gamefi socialfi and other dapps seamlessly connecting your various activities identify and manage web3 infrastructure easily pinpoint <laughs> specific smart contracts nodes bridges and more Host your own decentralized corner. Build and host decentralized websites and dApps using .shib names and IPFS. All right, so think about how important this last one is, all right? So it says, what does it mean for the SHIB ecosystem? With over 5 billion users worldwide, the internet relies on domain name systems, DNS, for accessibility and seamless navigation across millions of websites. With Web3 ecosystems require... While Web3 ecosystems require users to download dedicated software, they still depend on DNS for their online presence and brand identity, highlighting the importance of domains in sustaining trust and belonging. As Web3 becomes more prominent, integrating with established DNS infrastructure is essential for its success. D3 is setting up interoperability between legacy internet and Web3 infrastructure, focusing on the crucial role of DNS in the future of the internet. This is why they are partnering with the leading Web3 projects, including SHIB, to help them secure TLDs tailored to the Web3 space. Excited to learn more about the specific functionalities, early access details, and community exclusive offers? Stay tuned to for next week's edition of the SHIB Magazine here. P.S. Don't forget to check out Shaitoshi Kusama's insightful X thread on dot .SHIB name tokens and join the conversation as we hashtag invade 
the internet. All right, cool. So you guys already know. Big up, big up, big up on that. And um, I'll go ahead and, of course, read the next one. So uh, the next uh, next weeks, all right. This one right here is about the bull run. All right, let me know if you guys want me to read this one. I read it. It was okay. Basically, in a nutshell, it explains what is the bull run. Um, what are some of the factors that lead to it? Um, it basically says, you know, a bull run is the golden ticket to wealth in the financial world. It's like the it's like fi finance's holy grail, a sustained period marked with upward trends and robust investor confidence. It's an era of growth, not just fleeting spikes, lasting months or years and elevating investment value. OK, so basically it talks about the Bitcoin saga. Bull market saga, how in 2013, it basically broke a thousand then it plunged down to 173 by january 2015 then around later half of 2016 basically culminating in near 20,000 but then it went down december 18 i mean december 2018 to about 3000 so it basically crashed you have the grand saga of the major rally in 2021 where it peaked at 68.7 thousand a, his, a historic all-time high at the time because now it got broken of course this is february so the the this is this was correct at the time now it's 73 i believe of course talking about how it went from 68 all the way to 15.6k all right cool and basically it talks about what triggers it DeFi traders trade fight crypto sphere asia as liquidity bitcoin having event and the U.S. presidential election. Probably going to see what happens. And it says, is the party starting now? The next crypto bull run is anticipated to gain traction around 2024 and potentially reach its apex in late 2025 if historic patterns hold true. However, given Bitcoin's relatively short existence of just over a decade, the sample size of market cycles is limited, leaving room for unpredictability in market behavior. Researchers, however, were what warn, quote, while the current bull market presents promising opportunities for investors, it's important to remain vigilant and mindful of potential risks. Not all altcoins may survive a market downturn, and investors should conduct thorough research and due diligence before making investment decisions, end quote. I agree with that. All right. This one right here. Anyways, all these articles are a banger on this one. Honestly, it talks about NFTs and IPs. In fact, I should probably see if I, I could shoot that to this one young cat uh, called Santiago, uh, who's coming out with his own NFT collection with um, C Fund. Okay. So, anyways, let's see. So, this week's community contribution discusses NFTs, intellectual properties, and insights and how to make NFTs profitable. Basically, what that article says is, if you want your NFT to be valuable, it's not just about rarity. Yes, rarity is important, but it's not just about rarity. It actually talks about uh, how viewed it is. Can it be used uh, by a company where you can get passive income? And actually, it talks about how passive income is not the word that the SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission, wants to hear. Now royalties is the buzzword that so NFTs with royalties, all right? So not passive income. Okay. So of course, this is another advantage of renting out your NFT. Like I told you, renting it out uh, is the project itself helping to make your NFT famous. Okay, because of course there are famous NFTs. You already know the crypto Marxist one is the Bone Army one is. The dopest one with the bone with the laser eyes with the hat i mean come on don't don't mess with it bro that, that that's 1v1 you want a 1v1 and she will eternity now I'll slap you around bro all right cool so <laughs> i'm sorry all right so let me see that so rarity is not the most important feature of nft anymore yes it's an advantage of course uh all art forms telling a story community driven devs you know what i mean it says maybe build a some characters, storyline with your um, character. It says you can also sell this comic book on Amazon. Um, yeah, I mean, all kinds of making gifts. That was a dope one I hadn't thought about before. So anyways, all kinds of stuff. Like I said, giving you all kinds of ideas. Hey, Shib, one, Tanjum, 
the leader in Cold Wallet Solutions. All right, bam, don't forget about that. Sheesh. And what did they say? It says members of the SHIB army flocked to Tangent account after it announced that it has begun integrating Shibarium. That's the thing right there. Went canine soon. Actually, this is February. It launched. Actually, it's at an amazing buy price right now. Swear to God, I'm going to buy some. I'm going to buy at least a, a little bit of it. I swear, I'm going to buy at least a little bit of it. All right, it says Bad Flea Circus makes epic cartwheels on day one. It definitely is a banger. From 1,000 market cap to 58,000. Full disclosure, I do hold some of those, and I think they are bangers. They are one of the first 404s. I think they're the first 404s, I believe. All right, don't quote me on that. All right, so Crank the Engine Mars Swap has a new look. Launchpad for new projects, token creator, pre-sale feature, multi-sender. All right? Shibbles is bullish on staking rewards. Look, calculating your per days on different stuff. Depend, depending on what it has, what kind of eyes, what kind of mouth, what kind of body, what kind of base, what kind of ears, and the trait counts, all right? Seven, coin gecko and coin market cap. Well, here I am being dyslexic. It says coin market cap and coin gecko list Shabarium. Shabarium has recently integrated with coin market cap and coin gecko, and the ship army has welcomed them to the party. All right, cool. Here it is. Bop. Prime. Tabloid talks about Shibarium integrated with both of those. Shiba Inu enthusiasts have a reason to celebrate as Shibarium, the layer two scaling solution for the popular meme coin, secures listings on two. All right, and here are the memes. Of course, always banger. It says investing in real estate, investing in stocks and bonds, creating an emergency fund, setting a budget, and then this guy's over here buying Bitcoin. Actually, I should do buying C fun on this one. We might have to adopt this one and make it doper. Okay. All right. It says Sheba of the week. And you got this Sheba right here, Gardner. Time to get your paws dirty. All right. Cool. So that right there is basically it, my people. I'm going to go ahead and continue, though. I'm going to probably give you the, I told you about the, the treat. So I'm going I'm to see what's up with that treat one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the contract that I have on this next video. All right, on the next video is going to be the treat one. It is a little um, Easter egg for those that pay attention to it. Of course, not financial advice. I'm telling you, I do not know if it is the official treat that's going to be released. I just know that I bought that treat a long time ago. I had it in my wallet. Recently, they're talking about treat. I come into a conversation with a random Shiboshi holder who was very active in a community. And then I'm like, hey, um, what contract do you have for that? It was the same contract. So keep in mind, it's showing it's that like maybe 5 million market cap or something, maybe less. So if it happens to go to, I just showed you that DGEN went to $750 million. If this one was to go just to that, keep in mind, Shibarium has way more applications way more buzz, a stronger community base, okay? So it, I, in my opinion, it's going to easy billion. So from 5 million to 1 billion, we're talking a 200x, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? No, that's wrong. That is, oh, no, that's right, a 200x. So there it is, not financial advice, just putting you on game. Just a little something. So I'll try to give you guys, <clears throat> I'll try to give you guys that. Crypto Marxist, aka Bone Army, just came at you. Didn't mean for this to be long, but I need you guys to understand what this is about. Especially Bone Army. It's not the SHIB Army. We're not like the FUD bros. We're about getting the details, all right? So I'll give you guys a banger video on the next one. So it's not as long as this one. If you made it this far, hashtag treat, all right? Hashtag treat. Let's see if you made it this far. All right, cool. I appreciate you guys. Once again, I go by Crypto Marxist, aka Bone Army. Go ahead and hit that sub, hit that like, bell it up because some of my stuff is time sensitive and urgent. Hashtag treat. And then, of course, bell it up. All right. So if you want more videos, hit that right there. And like I like to say, I'm Bone Army. You're Bone Army. We are Bone Army. And of course, I'm out this piece. Deuces.